it's, it's not just uh, in, the, in the, the realm of consumers and uh, councils and all that that these changes are starting to take place in uh, agriculture. It's happening in, with farmers too. There's a, a, a rapidly growing movement, I think, of, of farmers who are becoming more interested in changing their methods because the old methods cost a lot and they basically don't work anymore for a lot of people. Um, I'm more or less retired now. I've, I've worked uh, the last 10 years on a, an organic beef farm on the shores of Lake Wellington in East Gippsland and I was doing research on grazing management there. I was also teaching a diploma of organic farming through TAFE. Unfortunately, TAFE has dropped that now. Anyway, so I'm more or less retired, but in my retirement, I keep doing research and, and writing. So that's actually how this book came about. It was never my intention to produce a book at all. I just, um, I'd, <coughs> I'd always wanted to do some sort of a study on, um, on the structures of agri agriculture and, and, and where all the money from farming goes to. Uh, but I thought it would be too hard. But, uh, I, when I got down to work on it, I saw there was actually a lot of information available and I just put it together as an article and then it was Dave's idea to, uh, to publish it. So, thanks David. <laughs> I just want to go through some, uh, some of the things that are in the book. Uh, there's a lot more detail of them in the book, but this, this basically gives you an idea of what's there. So, this is the... Um, there's a crisis in, in farming in Australia and it's not new, it's been going on for a long time. Um, I come from a farming family and I wanted to be a farmer but um, school suited me and people said, don't be so stupid. So that's back there in the, in the 1960s. Um, farming was regarded as something you only did when you couldn't do with something else. Um, and, and since that time, the, the standards of, of living for farmers have just kept going down, uh, even though the technology has increased a lot, and it's mainly due to the extraction of profit that is taking place. All right, just a few figures there. Um, this average farm debt, $700,000, it's, it's phenomenal. And uh, the... The, the total farm debt in Australia is now 68 billion, which is really unrepayable, I think. 